Hello, I'm gonna show you another thing that you can do with Pixlr. So here I am at pixlr.com. Remember you're gonna pick Pixlr E, not Pixlr X, Pixlr E. We're gonna create new, and we're just gonna keep it full HD. This time I'm gonna title this one, Practice Background number one. I'm going to show you guys how, remember how in the last video I showed you how to find a picture on the internet, copy it, paste it so you can have a background. This is so that you can make your own kind of patterned background for your um, still life. So I'm going to hit create. Remember to always name your stuff before you go into it. That way you don't have to worry about it later. It'll just be named right away. Get in that habit of always naming what you're working on because as you move further in art, you're gonna find that you have pages and pages and pages and pages of examples of things that you've made, but you don't know why you made it or when you made it. So start kind of like labeling things so that you know what it is that you're doing. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna start with just one blank empty layer and we're going to use this draw tool. These draw tools are a lot like any draw tool that you'd see um, anywhere. You can um, choose your brush size. Wow, ah, there we go. So you can choose your brush size. I'm going to make my size kind of small, like maybe 10-ish. So I have eight, that's fine. You can, if you want to, go and type in how big you want the pixels to be. Softness means how much of this is going to fade out. So notice how like if you look at the line right here, like as I get softer and softer, it looks like the edge gets softer and softer. So a good softness, just for the for our purposes, 25%. Um, what the step is, is like every line is actually made up of little, little pixels. And the more steps you have, the more that your little pixels are further apart. So I always keep my step at zero. Um, these are the different types of brushes that we have, that you have available to you. And this actually might kind of help you with your um, pattern. So like say you do want kind of something like this to be your pattern, you could click on this. You can make them a little bit closer, a little bit further apart. Um, so there are choices in here that'll help you make your pattern, but for the sake of the lesson today, I'm going to ask that you kind of, you stay in, you stay in this area up here, because I want you guys to try to draw your own pattern. So what I did is I came in, I clicked brush. And made the size 10, softness 25, step zero. And we're keeping it in this area here. I need to choose the color of my brush. That's this top one here. So I'm thinking that I want it to be this kind of blue color, just like before. And then hit OK. So in the last one, I had this kind of big wave thing. Now I'm gonna ask you guys to remember that I am working with um, my trackpad. I don't have my Wacom tablet right now. I just have my trackpad. So it looks kind of messy, but it's still the, the same idea. So I'm gonna just start to draw just a small bit of a pattern. This is supposed to be kind of like a tulip little flower thing, right? So we can zoom it in and I can actually then start to color it in just like you can with Chrome Canvas. It's very similar to Chrome Canvas, but the whole point of this lesson today is to actually not necessarily learn how to use the draw tool, but how to turn something that you drew into a pattern that you can then put into your background. So this is gonna look a little sloppy, partly because I'm trying to go fast and partly because I'm using a trackpad 
instead of being able to draw directly on my screen with a pencil like I could do if I had my Wacom tablet, but I do not. So I'm just filling this in. I'm trying to do this quickly. I'm gonna actually now take that and make it a little bit darker. And now I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna go. So that it looks a little bit more like what I want it to look like. Okay, so now the whole point of this is to just create this one thing, right? Now, that's fine, but I don't want to have to draw that a whole bunch of times. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the, the layer button. Sorry, I'm not going to hit the layer button. I'm going to hit these three dots over here, and I'm going to, down here it says duplicate layer. I'm going to duplicate that layer. And now we have two of the same layer, but watch. If I come up here and I grab this Arrange tool, now I can actually move this to where I want it to go. So I can just keep layer copying these layers. And every time I do, I just use this, this um, Arrange tool right here, and I can start to arrange it however I want. Now here's one more cool thing. So now I'm going to um, hit this button here. Sorry, no, I'm not. <laughs> I'm going to click these three buttons here. And see this? These buttons are how you can actually merge your stuff together. So I'm going to merge down, and I'm going to merge down again. Because I know I'm going to repeat these three um, tulip things over and over again in the same pattern. So now I'm going to come up here and I'm going to make a copy. And I'm going to move it around. And I'm going to make a copy. And I'm going to move it around. So you might have to watch this video a few times in order to completely understand what I just did. But I'll give you just kind of a quick um, rundown of what I did. Why didn't that copy? So now I have like a pattern that I can use for my background. And I'm gonna I'm gonna make my little background back here. I'm gonna go like this. You're gonna be like, Mr. Wind, I can't see it. And I'm gonna be like, yeah, cute. And then I'm gonna go over here and I'm actually going to put that on top of a kind of almost a reddish orange background. And I'm gonna take that layer. I just messed up. I'm gonna make a new layer. I'm gonna make an empty layer. Now I'm gonna choose a shape and I'm gonna go like this and I'm going to cover my stuff up. But now it's in front of it, so in order to move it, I can just grab it and pull it down to the very bottom here. And now I have my pattern. So in short, what did I do? Well, I started with one layer. On that layer, I drew one of my little tulip things. And then I copied that layer by going by clicking these three dots here, and I copied it, duplicated it, and then I moved it where I wanted it to be. And I did that one more time. So then I had this arrangement. And then I merged down my layers until I only had one layer. And then I duplicated my layers again, and then was able to kind of repeat it across the paper. And then I made another layer that was a shape. And I drag that layer to the very, very bottom. So Yurik, my expectation is to see you with some kind of pattern that's being repeated in some area of your screen. And then you need to file, save, just click the word download. And then you're going to, it's going to show up in your downloads so that you can upload it to the assignment. That's what you're gonna be doing today. If you need to, you can watch this video again.